video. We're gonna have some fun today with this ending. If you remember from yesterday, we left off suspended in mid-air after an up bow on the E string. And time had already started to slow down and expand. That leaves us the freedom to play around with the timing during these notes leading up to our very ending as much as we want. We can kind of doodle around with the notes. I'll give you some suggested notes to try to start with. And then we will find our way to a D for a strong finish at the home of our scale, since this is in D minor. I played sort of a Swedish fiddle inspired by one of my students who plays a lot of really cool sounding tunes from Sweden. But you can play around here in your own style or try to find an inspiration from something or somewhere else that you can kind of put in with this so that the mix mash is all your own. Let's choose some notes on the A string to play around with. To make things a little bit unexpected, I, I used some accidentals. Accidentals are any time that you change up the notes to something a little bit different than what would normally be found in the key. So on the A string, we normally have low one, low two, and three. Let's see how it sounds if you just bring up that one and two. So now you have A, B, C sharp, and D. That should give us a nice unexpected sound right here at the end. What I think I did is I went three, four, three, two, three, two. So see if you can play around with those notes and find something that you think sounds good to you. After that, I just played sort of a hammer on trill here from one to two to open A. So once again, here's mine. Oh, there was another one that I really wanted to do, but I didn't quite pull it off in the video. I, I accidentally played this instead. I think this is a cool little grace note trill thing here. If you go three, four, three, two, three, two, one. If you get all of those notes in on the down bow, so then you could still do that same trill. So you have a fresh start on yours. You have the opportunity to throw that extra note in that I wish I got in on mine. But you get the idea. You start on 3A and then you play around till you're on open A. That can kind of take as long as you want within reason. And then that's going to put you in the perfect place to finish off the tune strong on a D. And you could either use the low D here or the three on A D here. Or if you want to sneak another little double stop in there, it might be a really strong ending to go 3A with the open D at the same time. So the notes from yesterday leave you with and then you're going to find your way to 3A and play around. One more fun trick that you could use as an option for your ending is what I did. I, I ended on the open D but I threw in a low A with it. So first finger on G. a really nice interval to end on and one more little trick I'll share with you there is this is gonna sound more beautiful if you play the first finger on G just slightly I'm talking a little hair here higher than where you would normally play it so if you decide to do that ending take some time playing with your bow on G and D and play around with the, the, the exact placement of that first finger because you might find it sounds best somewhere a little bit different than where you normally play And don't be shy about sort of fishing around for that note. If you do that and own it as part of your piece, it just kind of sounds cool. And then once you just love how it sounds, that's when you really dig in and pull the bow really fast off so you get that little bit of ring afterwards for the super dramatic finish. I hope you enjoy. I can't wait to hear what you come up with on that final piece. <laughs> 